Hello, I'm Jefferson Mays, and this is A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder with TheatreMania.com. It's all about a young man in Edwardian England who was raised in genteel poverty by his single mother, and she passes away, and he finds out that he that she and he were the heirs to a vast fortune, an earldom, in fact. The only problem is there are eight people in, in the line of succession before him. So he ends up knocking off every single one of those relatives to become Earl. And all of them are played by the same incredible actor, Jefferson Mays. Lord Adalbert Dysquith, Lady Salome Dysquith, uh, Lady Hyacinth Dysquith, uh, Henry Dysquith, Asquith Dysquith Jr., Asquith Dysquith Senior Lord Bartholomew Dysquith. And how many is that? Six, seven, that's eight, and I'm missing one Dysquith. Oh, Lord Ezekiel Dysquith, the, the vicar. One in the parlor, one in the bed, nothing between them but me and a woman. Is Monty a bad guy? See, I don't think he is. I think he's an underdog, and I think that he is fighting his way to the top. You kind of want him to kill these people, um, partly because they're despicable and, like, just, you know, in the way that certain relatives can be. Um, but also because you know that each time Monty kills one of these people, you'll get to see Jefferson as a new, more ridiculous character. and the manners and how everything is like underneath a layer of poise and perfection. Everything's underneath. So you, it's like a seven layer dip where on the top it's pearls and lace and underneath it's murder and intrigue and sex. So that's what's exciting about it. It was a, a, a joyful, playful, frolicsome uh, time, I think. And I, uh, I would love to have lived back there.